How can a restaurant menu make you a better speaker or presenter? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. For years, I have used an analogy that describes a common problem in the speaking and presenting world. I've used the metaphor of a Chinese buffet to describe what most presenters are doing to their audiences. They're stuffing them full of food. If you've ever been to a buffet, it's very easy to fall into the trap of getting two or three plates full of food because, what the heck, it's one fee. Not long ago, I was talking with some other speaker friends, and this idea popped into my mind related to that buffet analogy, and that's this that a speech is really an appetizer. When you think about appetizers, what do you think of? I'm not worried about specific types here because there are literally thousands you could consider. Think of your favorite one. What does that do for you though when you sit down to a meal? If you're really hungry, it staves off starvation for another 10 or 15 minutes until the main course comes. And it might be a tasty way to try new, uh, new foods without committing to an entire meal. All right, that's what the appetizer does. In essence, that's what a speech does. You cannot possibly convey in a 15, 30, or 60 minute talk your years of wisdom and expertise in your field. You can't do it. I have been intensely studying storytelling and presentation skills since 1994. How can I take a quarter century of knowledge and put it into that short time frame can't happen. When I'm giving a speech to any group, my job is to give them an appetizer, one or two, maybe three useful ideas, some, some good content that they can immediately put into their presentations. But that's all I can give them. I can't go into depth of, of ideas I've learned over years and years and years and have people understand that. The purpose of the speech is to give everybody in the room content and for those individuals who want to take a deeper dive, make available to them your coaching, your course, your free resources, whatever it is you have to offer. If you'll start thinking about speaking like this, you can avoid the issue, the problem that so many presenters have of stuffing too much information into the minds of their audience. What happens when we feel stuffed? We just want to go to sleep and forget everything, right? We need a nap. Don't do that to your audience. Get them excited. When they leave, you want them to want more information, want more insight from you, and not feel stuffed. How do you do that? Don't give them a buffet. Give them an appetizer. Talk to you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. <music>